And we're back. As you can see, I finally hollowed out part of the mountain here and uh, built what I figure probably is a decent sized balcony for the royals. Uh, not too big, not too fancy, and since I can't do any uh, angles or uh, dimensions here, this is as good as it gets. Thank you, Minecraft, for your uh, blockiness. We shall move on. Just sort of uh, build my pillars. And you're probably wondering why there is wood above the door frames. Well, the fact of the matter is, I own my own construction company, and I'm just used to building headers. Uh, even when you're using stone, mason, in reality, you need some sort of lintel. In this day and age, there's no such thing as a big steel I-beam, so a uh, big plank of wood will work. Or it's going to have to work, because I can't figure out how to make a steel lintel. Mind you, I don't think it's really that necessary in the first place, so... Moving on! Now you're probably wondering, what in the frickin' world am I doing? Easy. Building a roof. Can't have my uh, royals freezing their nuts off here. Well, you could. That's... Not the point. Okay, I built one before. Down. Aha. Excellent. It looks like it's. Oh, I'm out of wood. Wood needed. <laughs> Damn it. Gotta quit doing that. Now to fill the void. Fill the void with just regular sand. I know I can make sandstone. That's not an issue. An issue at all. Except, one major issue with that is sandstone doesn't sort of mimic old world buildings that you see in pictures, mythology books, and such like that. So, I'm just going to use sand. It looks and resembles the mud they used in Britain, and also sort of uh, looks like crap. And yes, they did use crap. Really imaginative, but it worked for thousands of years, so I think it will work here. Not to mention, if they have a really kinky night, the walls were turned to glass. Uh, that, that's really something you should be thinking about, but it'll work. I wonder, should I cut those off and just put glass through there? The balcony? Ah, screw it. Want to? I can later do it. Then I'll have to make some fence so I can put it on the outside. Don't want the royals to fall off. Not that it's really going to hurt them because there's a mountain like a foot below the damn balcony. Ooh, ow, oh, crunch. Ooh, I hurt myself. I'm out of wood again, aren't I? God damn it. Good thing I have axes. Hello, tree. I like you. Now give me your wood. Nothing like quenching your thirst with a nice, refreshing beer. You're probably wondering, wait a minute, how old are you? You can't be drinking beer. I hate to tell you people, but I'm 24 and I've been drinking beer probably longer than most people. Yeah, and it's not the expensive beer either, because after a working man's salary, I can't afford real expensive beer. I just buy the cheap black label crap. Yeah, it's refreshing. It taste somewhat good and, and I but it's cheap and there are probably a lot of guys who will relate the fact that in today's day and age yeah you can't really afford much 
especially not when you blow all your money on a big commercial vehicle. But hey, it'll, it'll make my life so much easier. And you're probably wondering, wait a minute, if you're working, why aren't you working right now? Well, the fact of the matter is, with my job, it requires no snow on the ground and the ground to be soft and gooey, which it promptly isn't. It is the end of April, I still have two feet of snow on the ground, and there is still frost in the ground. So, doing concrete work is kind of, well, not really, uh, you really shouldn't be doing concrete work, let's just put it in that. <laughs> You could, but your cure rates aren't going to be the same, a whole bunch of variables. It's just better in the long run not to do it. Hmm. Where or where should my pillars be? Uh, probably right out here. Watch me promptly fall off the damn roof again. There is a platform here, as long as I don't fall off in that crack. I may have full health at the moment, but I would not after that jump. The jump of destiny! Will he make it? No, he won't. Cause he will. How the hell is that gonna work, dumbass? watching, you're probably wondering what all these references are, if you're trying to wonder. Best just to go to your father and ask him what in the world I am talking about. Which, he'll probably look at you and start laughing. Then again, if it's guys my age, they will understand and they'll probably just start laughing thinking that I'm completely nuts. Which is a lie, because I'm not completely nuts. Just partial. Is this me or can I not reach? Why can't I reach? Look at the platform. Yeah, yeah, that figures. <coughs> oh, look at that. I'm out of wood again. either. Sometimes in this game it's not the easiest to figure out your bearings. Okay, I am standing on the parallel. If I go up the wall like so, uh, that's probably going to be high now. Oh, no, it isn't. But I'm out of wood. Here, tree, tree, tree. Come to daddy. He just needs a little splinter. Won't hurt much. Oh god, I lied, it's gonna hurt. Shush you! Otherwise I'll maim you like I did your brothers. Aw, but you're so cute. In sort of 8-bit block formation. Never figured that out. After all the years this game's been live, they have never upgraded. Well, probably the, for the best. This game has actually kept itself pretty well. Uh, one of the best games on the market still. But this just starts bringing back memories of the original Doom and, uh, well, Bond of the uh, Nintendo 64. Oh man, the the hours of being bloodshot just starting to come back to me. And they will be after this game too. <laughs> Go 
Come here, block. Come here, block. Yeah, you. There we go. Oh, I do have a dumb. Ha! I can replant my trees. See? See? There's a reason. I have a tree farm. Eventually, this whole area is going to actually be uh, inside the keep walls. Because I'm actually going to build a uh, single wall around hooking on part of the keep. Just to uh, protect the keep barracks, the bedding, the kitchen, the kitchenette. Uh, you're probably wondering where the dining hall is actually going to be, but it's actually going to be right in front of the throne. Or at least I think that's where it's going to go. And I think that's probably the best place to store it. I, then I just have to figure out how to make chairs, tables, all the furniture. By no means is my keep going to be done anytime soon. And then I gotta build the outside of the keep, the long houses, the cottage houses. I might actually build a secondary keep for a, uh, a lord, lord baron. I just got these down. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, longhouses, uh, cottages, um, uh, anything from the port, well, your peasant class to your mid class to your uh, high end royalty. Um, um, also contemplating the fact of uh, putting in uh, a, uh, not, it's not quite a stadium, I can't remember exactly what they called them back in uh, the 1700s, uh, but it's where you, uh, where you typically have your jousting contests, your, uh, your armament contests, uh, battalion tactical ar arrangement, um, training facilities also for uh, archers, uh, combat masons, uh, shield warriors, pretty well anything like that. Because you got your stadium in the front and then you actually have your uh, your main main training grounds for your military in the back quadrant, which typically is found close to your keep. So I have to decide where I'm going to put that up. I'm going to put it back uh, here where the lake is, or uh, out front. Uh, either way, I got to carve uh, carve everything out for the uh, uh, through the mountain because I actually built my keep in the mountain. Well, it was the highest point, so then I just built it in out of it. And actually, I don't have much stone left for how much I used out of it. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so, now I just need to put this into here. Now we'll need half of it. There we go. Okay, those will have to be knocked off. Knocked off. Alright, the torch is back here. We'll put this probably right here. Same on this end. I don't think structurally that, because these would actually be considered 16 to 24 inch uh, round beams. For the how big the roof is, I don't think I actually physically need any more pillars. Well, then again, maybe I should put one more in the middle just to be on the safe side. I know this game really has no structural integrity to it for... Uh, building codes and what have you, but hey, I've been building for so many years now that uh, it's just kind of habit to uh, build everything structurally sound, even if it's in a game. I know it may sound psychotic, but hey, bear with me. Uh, promptly fall off things again, yeah, cool. Christmas songs, it's the end of April. Not that I really care much for Christmas. Food. Never really do the presents much. 
Ah, it's just the family get together that I enjoy. But moving on. Hey, you're probably wondering why I'm just using wooden planks, but hey. There's a reason. There's a reason for everything I do. Oops, that sounds weird, please. Um pretty well why I use wooden planks for my roofing is just because they used uh typically uh shacks. <coughs> um Bakes is depending on uh, which part of the country you're from or which country you're actually from. Uh, the shakes uh, were actually either A, cedar, or B, uh, a hardwood. Um, <coughs> and they uh, they closely resemble the planks or the way the planks sort of look in this game, so that's why I'm doing it like that. Yeah, it, it doesn't really have to be like that, but... But I'm sort of a kooky guy. You know, it looks like I can't reach that far. And of course, you moron, you put that up there like that. Ha. Uh, no, I don't think I can build with a bow. Thank you very much. Now I know I actually put a chimney in, or something that sort of resembles a chimney in the barracks. I'm not too sure if I'm going to do that here. Uh, most of the time the royals uh, with their bedding and uh, they didn't actually have a stove they used um, what was known as hot pots they uh, you actually put them underneath uh, underneath your bed to keep you warm at night um, which is sounds actually pretty uh, insane when you think about you're putting a hot iron underneath your sheets and your sheets were typically made out of wool a highly flammable um oh you bastard you bastard come down here and fight like an ugly spider that you are you can't because you can't fit through the crack although thanks for pushing me off man that's really appreciated give me your experience There's a balcony there. Alrighty, I hear another one of you creepy buggers. So yeah, they... Going back to they used pots that are highly flammable. Uh, you know, I don't know if I could be a royal in those days. I probably would have been a shield warrior or something like that. Yeah, the whole... Uh, some of the things the royals did, I don't quite agree with. Uh, yeah, being pampered, yeah, okay, cool, that's that's cool, but, yeah, that's not really what I'm getting at here. Um, some of the things the royals actually uh, did, um, I don't care about what they did with peasants and things like that, but... Uh, like putting hot pans under your bed, yeah, okay. You you got your uh, toiletries, which is as bad as it sounds. Uh, okay, now excuse me. They uh, they did a lot of weird things, but mind you, back then they didn't have the technology, so. And when you think about the how harsh this game is, sometimes it's not far fetched. This is actually what kind of was like back then, I think. And of course, that could be... What? what? Why are you doing that? I didn't want to put that there. Uh, anyways, they, uh... Hmm. Okay, well, that didn't work. I guess I'll just stay down here. So that spider doesn't come crawling at me. I'll be fine! Oh yeah, right, I didn't finish that. I'm gonna need more wood again. Oh well, isn't that just freaking dandy? I always need more wood. Wood needed. I did say it's not great, but most people probably wouldn't figure out which game that's actually from. 
<laughs> I've played so many games in my time, but it they all just sort of blend together at this point. And you're probably going, well, you, you have much for the YouTube channel, and you can't possibly have done that much. I mean, not compared to everyone else, but you're not quite right there. I've actually, uh, I've tested games for Ubisoft, Blizzard Entertainment, EA Games, or did before they fired me. Apparently they don't like to, uh, people telling them that their, uh, their games are a load of crap. I won't go into details which games have actually uh, designated as really crappy and uh, didn't work quite right. Um, graphic errors, blow up debugger. Uh, but no, not the game. I, hopefully the game didn't blow up. Although I'd, I'd definitely laugh. Some of the games I've seen uh, makes you wonder. But uh, yeah, I've. I've done actually quite a bit of work, and uh, most of the time I actually work for Ubisoft, so, which is actually a lot of fun. They're a great company, and uh, I recommend actually uh, playing a lot of their games. Uh, they're, uh, I don't quite agree with their uh, Uplay platform, though. They're, uh, it's, well, it's a lot better than Origin, that's, that's for sure, but uh, the Uplay platform... Uh, I'm kind of old school. I actually prefer the original CD in your hand to install onto your computer. It's just sometimes I I know where they're getting at, and I know why they do it like that. It, it's due to copyright and uh, er, and just try to prevent uh, fraud from happening. But honestly, I still like the original gameplay of uh, of having your Having your CD in hand, having your CD key, which was incredibly easy to hack, I, I know that, but uh, it's, I still like the CD play better. Uh, especially if uh, sometimes you have uh, internet issues. I live in the country and uh, it has been known to happen more times than not. Uh, we'll go into details about internet connection. Issues in the past, uh, mostly with big name companies, and now I'm actually uh, with a small little uh, home group company and have excellent internet. But with saying that, they'll occasionally have issues. Nothing you can do about that, it's just natural. There's actually, I believe, no internet in the world that doesn't have an issue once in a while, They're just natural. Well, and actually, you're probably noticing that for the most part, my gameplay is not buggy, not glitchy. It has a lot to do with my gaming computer. Most of the time, the only problems with glitching in gameplay is me. I have a tendency to a little bit, as you can say, which makes my gameplay a little bit more entertaining, you could say. More entertaining. Most of the time it's just my antics. So that's why I typically say, bear with me! Or don't, I really don't care. Uh, I'm, I didn't start the YouTube account to base views or anything like that. It's just, yeah, hey, if you want to watch it, cool. If you don't, that's not my loss. Uh, can, and if you do, cool. If you don't, no worries. Uh, kind of the same way as my business. Uh, if you don't like my work, don't hire me. But, uh, I have one of the highest rating building codes and uh, safety in, in the province that I live in, so... Uh, I've also been nominated for several awards, so I I think my quality of work is uh, is typically a oh, wrong slot yeah. is typically a little higher than uh, than average uh, companies, especially handymen. I dislike handymen with a passion. 
typically because I can't stand going onto a job site and uh, hearing the clients complain all the time about they hired a handyman. Uh, they can't understand why he didn't do a good job with their work. Uh, they didn't sign a contract. They have no paper trail saying, oh, well, this guy did the work. Uh, I don't understand why he didn't uh, back up his work. It's because he's a handyman. He's probably not licensed, not insured, doesn't care about your safety. All he's looking at is the dollar signs behind it. And that's why I recommend, no matter what contract you're doing, who you think you're hiring, make sure you go out and do your references. And typically, when you're doing an estimate, get three, four, five different estimates done. That way you can ensure that you're not being screwed. Uh, can't emphasize that enough. And the time it takes to get a few estimates, you know, it's well worth it in the end. You're, you're, you're saving yourself a lot of grief down the road by actually uh, getting the right guys, and especially when you do the es get the estimates, um, go back and actually uh, go to the references and talk to the people that actually had got work done from them. You'll be absolutely amazed by uh, how many guys that don't give out references and really don't care about you. They're just out to make as much money as possible. So. With saying that, this will, uh, I guess, conclude this episode. We have built the royal chambers. Uh, I'm not too happy with these beams. As you can tell, there ain't much headroom. I may have to change this. But that'll be another episode, so uh, subscribe. Do whatever you like to do. I really don't care. Enjoy yourself, and we'll talk to you next time.